What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today we're going to be checking out this cute, non-scale, pre-painted action figure based on the anime character Saber. This is from Kotobukiya and is part of their Q-Posh series. And for those of you who don't know, this character is based on the very popular anime called Fate. However, this character specifically is based on the model from Fate Grand Order, which is an online free multiplayer game. Saber is otherwise known as King Arthur in the television series. So at the time of this video, at the time of this purchase, uh, you could find this product for roughly around $20, however I think the average price is $40. So you could definitely catch this on an Amazon price drop. And without further ado, let's check out the contents inside the box. So. This is the latest character to join Kotobukiya's line of adorable, poseable, pocket-sized q posh figurines. This figurine is Saber's altar form, which represents the dark side of the King of Knights from the hit mobile game Fate Grand Order. q posh are pocket-sized action figures with non-scale proportions that give them a cute appearance. Despite the small stature, Saber enjoys a wide range of movements, allowing her to be displayed in a variety of poses. Interchangeable face parts and magnets in this figurine's feet allows you to display Saber with a variety of poses and expressions. The altar version of Altria Pendragon, aka King Arthur, imposing black armor is recreated in stunning detail, and the figure comes with a variety of extra parts allowing you to display her in a range of dynamic scenes and poses. This Q posh comes with interchangeable hair parts allowing you to display her with or without her visor to recreate her appearance in Stage 1 or Stage 2 from the game. Including parts includes the sword, aka Excalibur, two face parts, aloof expression and a shouting expression, two hair parts with and without the visor, and interchangeable hands which are open, closed, and holding. So this is the product out of the box, and as we mentioned before, it does come with a lot of extra sets and extra pieces. So before we go into the model you see in front of you, let's cover all the extra awesome parts. Coming up first is her second set of hair. And the one right now is the same set of hair, but it comes with a visor which is not detachable. And she also comes with a second set of face. And this one is more of a open mouth screaming face. And that one's more of a stern, I'm about to kill you kind of face. And of course, we have the hands. This product comes with a total of three pairs, so six hands. What you see in front of you right now are the open closed fists, meant to hold the sword or wield the sword in either hand. Then you have the open hands for some more poses. And then you have the closed boxing fists for some other more poses. This product also comes with these pieces which is meant to help stabilize the character. However, I find that because it comes with magnetic stand, the magnets are quite powerful, so you definitely don't need these at all, but it is nice to have. And then finally, this product also comes with a cute little bag to hold all your stuff. What's interesting is that it also comes with instructions or more like a how-to guide so this is just a run up of all the pieces you get. This is the front poses, basically one without the visor and one with the visor and the two faces switched out. And this is basically a how to guide how to replace the face, which is quite simple. It comes with the magnetic base the pieces here for the magnetic base. It talks about the joints and how you can remove the magnets, which I do not recommend or it talks about how to super glue the magnets, which probably definitely recommend. Now to the product itself. Let's look at Saber's head and let's pop it off first. The head does come off very easily, so no issues there. It's basically split into two pieces, front and back. You can remove your hair and again, you have the one with the visor, which is not detachable and the one without the visor and it fits very easily. You just push it in and there you go. And same with the face. This is her face and it comes off very easily. We can switch it out with the screaming face like that and just squeezes in 
and you attach the hair, and there you have it. We look at her hands, unlike the hands of the Bandai Spirits Zaku, which took me mm, like about 10 minutes to pop off. These are very easy to pop off and interchange them, which is a huge plus for me. Here's her sword, go in either hand. And the design of the sword, which is Excalibur, is pretty much the design with the rest of her battle skirt, her battle dress. You have dark colors lined up with cool red stripes, and it shows it on either sword. It's very sturdy, and all over her battle dress. So you can see the red lines all over. Speaking of the dress, this dress, the side of the skirts, could go out all the way pretty far. And that's so if she's able to spread her feet out a little bit far as well, such that. And speaking of the feet, her feet is pretty small, but they do come with magnets at the bottom. Again, these magnets are very strong, enough to hold the base itself. But because the design of this model is supposed to be cute, she has small feet, which is could be a problem with the posing because her head is so big, it could be a little unbalanced. Um, I wanna say it's a huge issue. It's something very minor, it's something that I noticed though. Let's see if I can get lucky on this one, try to pose her. There it is. I was close. But yes, her feet are pretty small and the fact she's like almost on heels, it looks like, um, makes it a little bit difficult. But again, that's why we have the magnetic base. Dude. she'll stay on so for $20 this is a phenomenal product um, everything that Kotobukiya has pushed out and I purchased I, I'm, I enjoy it thoroughly this is a Koposh, Koposh I don't know how to pronounce it Kuposh, I think that's the correct pronunciation a lot of people on YouTube is just pronouncing it all over the place so we're going to call it Kuposh Kuposh series, definitely going to get more and I actually do have more on the way in the mail and we'll definitely do unboxing videos for those. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you like the video, please leave it a like and leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.